Hello, my name's Dabuya, and today we are on Kashyyyk, as we are on the last planet that has a star map. Let's finish our quest. <laughs> Greetings to, uh... Well, I am pleased to welcome you to G5623. I do not see your ship on the docking schedule. The Zerk Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but they will need, be a, need to be a hundred credit docking fee. In advance, I fear. Don't make demands. I'm Lucas Starkiller. I'll land where, where I wish. I respect your obvious determination, but I can't allow you to remain unless you pay the proper fees. The Zerk Cor Corporation appreciates your cooperation and hope you do not devolve into a violent matter. It's easily settled. I'll pay with your blood. We're not armed here. We have many guards and security droids. We can control Wookiees. We can control you. Zerka Corporation protects its interests. If you won't pay, you won't be granted access to the planet and free to leave. I'll wait here until you change your mind. Well, it looks like we actually have to be nice to leave. I greet you again. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to pay the docking fee. Stand aside. Perhaps you don't need to pay the docking fee. Any services you need will be more than make up for it. I'm amazed at how many people that works on. The entire galaxy must be filled with weak-minded fools. <laughs> I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, Zerk Corporation can provide a translator for, your, for you during your visit. I'm trained in the Force. I'll have no trouble. I don't have any experience with that. I just know that only the most adaptive people can understand Wookiee language. Now then, please follow me to the information center. I will answer the further questions there. We have Zolber in the party this time, because, uh, well, it is his home world, so I thought uh, we should give him a crack. Let's do the old snoop around to find shit we can get. Oh no. Let me guess. Those are Pazak cards. I wonder if I can just slap this guy before he even tells me he plays Pazak. Yep, Pazak. Bye. Hello, merchant. Speak with the director nope. if you need information. I nope. only deal with volume buyers. Hey, Zolber. Kashik, my home. I should have prepared you f for coming here, but I don't know what I've prepared myself. I don't know if I'm prepared myself. It's a little late for warnings, furball. Don't mock me. This is hard. Mission may have told you I was taken here by slavers, but there is more. I'm in exile. The slavers of Kashyyyk only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Okay, I'll learn what I need myself. Then stumble blindly. I won't speak to you again until you... Until it is in your face. Yeah, whatever, fool. Hello, Madden. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Madden is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Don't amount to much. Hello. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, <laughs> hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business, poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need oh, to hear well. this. What can I get you? He's basically stuck there. Do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know, it's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially <laughs> while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, madam. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Do your debtors have a habit of running off? Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. 
He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Uh, perhaps I could settle some of his debt. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. Okay. I have no business with you. Welcome to Adia. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. Uh, you have nothing to be proud of, fool. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookie speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookie say? He wants to rip the legs off and beat you with them. I didn't say that. See? He's furious. I can barely control him. What are you doing? Stop this. Call him off. I, I don't have anything to do with what happens on this planet. I'm just a glorified lab technician. What was that about? I don't like being used for your amusement. Don't question me. Remember your life debt. I remember. Hello, sir. Do you have anything more important? Greetings again. How can Zerka... Yep. Purchase local species? He means they are slavers. They will take people... Yep. The current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. I think you would need some firepower to keep order. We do things as humanely as possible. There are other outposts, but the operation is very lean overall. Arrangements have been made with the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. You will tell me about these agreements. I can tell you about the agreement. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable and agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What is the leader's name? I believe the name is Chanda. I, Chungus. I don't deal directly with him. Thank God. Thank goodness. Far too brutish. Grr, that was not a, a name I want to hear. It sounds though your thrall has an opinion about your arrangement with this dealer, leader. But it doesn't matter. Chunda, Chungus is unquestioned. What about Zobo? What's the matter? It's not something I want to talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else? I have to wor work to do. Farewell. Cool, we kind of learnt that we've got to go find Chungus. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Don't get him away. You wind up dead. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to bury you here. You haven't warned me. I'm a nice person. You like me. Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? That's all. Goodbye. Watch yourself out there. Let's head on in to the great walkway oh hello let me just go insane and jump jump okay just do that yeah get him oh there's a guard here hey dude can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells, I feel it all now. We are away from the spaceport. The walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. We're here for the star map, nothing else, understand? Yes, and your outside concerns, concerns must always come first. Just remember that this is my home. You are a stranger here. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if it will help or hindrance here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother has had his ear all this time, he may be very unwelcome. We'll deal with it when the time comes. That's what I am dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some of the far away world. I've never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. Hey guys. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. I'm Lucas Starkiller. What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Put it down? We're not monsters. We're animals. Does this make you mad, Zoba? I bet it does. What are you getting at? 
Do you want these men dead? I wouldn't need much encouraging. Do it. Kill them. We'll make them pay. What? Blasters ready, men. This fool wants to die. Check. Double check. Get him, Zoba. Good job, Zoba. Oh, that guy wants us as well. Jump in! Bam! Sorry, I had to get the kill on that one. Let's kill this Michael. Bam! Come at me! Lightning! Uh, lightning? And again! Ha <laughs> More! Too strong. Ah, another Maiko. Let's get it, boys. Boom. And lightning. And more. Okay. Bam. Lightning. Lightning. Lightning's too fun. Okay, walking down there. Let's go down this path first. Seeing as there's a uh, few people here. Bam! Insanity! And... Drain life. I'll disengage. Drain. And we'll just run up and hit that thing. Boom. Oh, Dark Jedi. I wonder who you're after. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. The he hell? Promised... These guys have said the same thing on, on Tatooine. And jump in on this guy. Bam. I dare you run away from me. You will be choked. And storm. You're that didn't kill you. Suckers. Hey, Wookie. Growl. Stop where you are, outsider. You enter the domain of Chochungus, chieftain and leader. Stand aside. This human is with me, and I want access to my home of my people. You have no right to see a mad claw. The human should not have brought this taint on our land. You must enter to Chochungus. And what if I refuse to go see Chochungus? There is no refusing. If you if you will not walk, we will bind you. Shall you be carried to the trees like a child? Bruh, enough talk. You and the outcast Mad Claw will be taken to Chung Chungus now. Step forward and address the mighty and wise Chochungus outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. Are you flanked by Zerka slavers? Are you not outsiders? Or have you sold all the Kashyyyk to them? Ah, Brother Zolba. You've been ex exiled a long while. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are Madclaw without honor. You have no voice among our own people. I, on the other hand, am Chieftain. I am Darth Revan. And you will listen to me, Chochungus. You expect me to believe that? Lucas Starkiller? Even here on Kashyyyk, we have heard of your tale on how the Lord of the Sith was killed by the Jedi. I wasn't killed. I was only captured. Now Revan has returned, and you don't want to get on his bad side. There is something strange about you. A darkness I can smell in your scent. Maybe you are one of the Sith. Maybe you are, are even Darth Revan, as you claim. But why do I care about Sith and Jedi? Zerka the only outsiders here in Kashyyyk. And the Mardik Chungus does not bow down, even to them. Your mistake. They trust me, the Mardi Chungus. Even with my brother insane and my father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Father was enslaved, Mardi Chungus? What are you talking about? You were the runt. 
I am no runt. <clears throat> like I said, Zorba, a lot has changed in the years away. We will discuss this soon enough. Is there a point to this? If this will only lead to a fight, I would like to get to it. There will be no fight. You wouldn't survive. The village believes in me. They would rise to kill you. I have the protection of Zerka Corporation guards as well. No, you have no chance while I am opposed. I'm not opposed. I haven't killed Zawa because he is my brother, and I hope he could come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I am able to put you to use on a menial task. Zolba will have to stay here, of course. I will not abandon Zolba to you. It isn't your choice, Lucas Stuckula. I already have him. I have a personal matter to discuss with him. You have your other duties. A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zolba. Gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks in the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering the Zerk allies during the Shadowland expedition. It is not good business for them. Uh, something I said. Zalba, don't tell you. We took offense to me trading to a few people in favor of weapons. I don't understand objection. Imagine the destruction of Zerka Corporation come with blasters firing. I saved many lives. Of course I gained weapons and arranged for certain rivals to be taken. I protected my allies, allies and my power grew. Which explains why the Wookiees in the room haven't killed you. Each has come to understand the benefit of working with the enemy, unlike your exiled companion. Young Zelba has not foreseen. He couldn't control his outrage. He attacked me with his claws and damned himself doing it. A few careful stories and everyone called him Mad Claw, even Father Frey. I easily had him exiled. I'm only interested in what I'm looking for, a star map. I don't know anything about something like that, and I don't care. Your concerns are nothing to me. I won't do this. Do your own dirty work. You don't have much choice. You can flee the planet if you want, but I'm keeping Zolba here with me. He'll stay until the Mad Claw is dead, and Zerka will never let me hold you. But don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. I need Zolba with me. Here's a guide. No, you won't need him to find your way. Over the years, I've had... My people train the un understand Galactic Basic. I tell him it's better to understand the enemy. They think it will make the Zerka easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join the outsider or in exile. You're wrong, brother. Someone would. Yeah, you and me, Zelba. No, outsider. Zelba is referring to Freya, our other father. Why is Zelba ordered you exiled when you attacked me? He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. There was ye That was years ago. Let him go, Zelba. I rule now. I'll take the Wookiee forward, but their price is to pay. Play along, Zelba. I'll see what I can do. No more words, outsider. I've given you orders. I can't hold you here, but Zelba will stay until the Mad Claw. Query. Shall I begin blasting, Master? We could have your hirsut companion free in no time. Not yet, HK. The guards will let you pass now. Leave the village and through the northwest and follow the platform to the south, then east. You'll eventually see the uh, god woken waits for you. He'll lower the forest floor. Go. Thank you for watching this week, folks. Next week, we'll tackle finding that Mad Claw and head down into the Shadowlands. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.